The greater glider is Australia's largest gliding mammal. The greater glider were once fairly common in this area. After the fires, we were unsure as to how they had survived. So with funding from the Australian government through the Bushfire Recovery Program, we started this project nine months ago, wondering if we would actually find any gliders at all. So being a nocturnal species, we use spotlights and thermal scopes. We surveyed a total of nine properties and excitingly we found 18 gliders on six of the properties. When the Duns Road fire uh, hit Batlow, it crossed into the town from basically here. So when we arrived back, there was nothing but black. Everything just looked like a moonscape. And what was the most terrible thing about it was the loss of the wildlife. We went out one night spotlighting with Cherie and they were there. And it was just the most amazing feeling to actually see them. It was just a wonderful story of survival. So the second phase of the project was to actually start to help improve the habitat for this species. So pest control, pest plants and pest animals are an issue. We've been working with traditional owners to help us with that pest control. We've also undertaken some wildlife friendly fencing. We're looking at two different options here in terms of um, providing nesting sites for the glider. It can take up to 100 years for a hollow to form. During the fires, a lot of those hollow bearing trees were lost. There's a thing called hollow hogging, where you drill a hollow into the actual trunk of the tree, and then you excavate out to actually create the hollow. And then we've been using um, the Habitech nesting boxes. Well, we're in beautiful Batlow in some tall eucalypt forest and we're installing uh, some habitat nest boxes for the greater glider to improve their chances of survival. There we go. Being really thermally efficient, it mimics a natural hollow. The insulation properties enable the gliders to stay warm in winter and then cool in summer. Research is showing that the greater glider population has crashed all across the, the east coast and there's estimates of, of up to 80%, not just impacted by the bushfires but also due to um, habitat fragmentation and climate change. Local land services plays a role not only in the environment but especially around threatened species and after extreme events. We were not only working on the greater glider, but also a number of other unique species to our region, including platypus, the endangered Macquarie perch, Burralong frog. This project has been really exciting to have discovered that the gliders have persisted after the fires. It's not only important for that threatened species, but also for this Batlow community who've been through quite a lot. In years to come, I can, I can imagine coming out here and seeing the greater gliders and seeing them use those nesting boxes. I can't think of anything more satisfying as a landholder.